show tonight. Uh, very funny man, Dennis Miller, will be out here in just a second. Teo Leone from uh, The Naked Truth and little six-year-old six Seth Moomy. You know, you know, his dad was on uh, Lost in Space. That was his dad. But I used to watch his dance. This is his <laughs> Fascinating. What an amazing world we live in. <laughs> My first guest, Emmy-winning comedian and an actor. He had four movies out this year. He has a book coming out. He has his own weekly show, Dennis Miller Live on HBO. Please welcome Dennis Miller. <laughs> So, uh, the kid's dad was the robot? Yeah, that's right. It was, that's right. <laughs> What's with that monologue doing all these impressions? I get bones from Star Trek. Dude, bones? Damn it, Jim. That, that, that was the only do one. You, do your black guy for that me. That wasn't a black guy. <laughs> that was a black guy. Did I, did I allude well, to was all the, this stuff? Was that, that was the guy did to me. <laughs> Jay, my man, ow! Like this. And I'm thinking, oh, this guy and I are soulmates. We're buddies. He was He's at the so show. He's so Teflon. Like, that wasn't a black guy. No, I, did I say? It was an African American individual. No. And then, did I, Kim? And then the no. ultimate insult. <laughs> like, you're capable of doing either a gay guy or an English guy. You do a gay English guy. Yeah, all right. Well, it's well, acting. Well, no. You're the actor. You're the one in the four movies. I thought you'd appreciate my acting. It was beautiful. Let's the guy said, yo, my man, he gave me one of these, and I thought, great, the guy likes me. He's given me tickets. Okay, let's, let's act. Let's play some sense memory games. I'm a Tangelo. Give me a film genre. Okay, <laughs> uh... Let me ask you something. Now, you just got back. You've been trying... Where were you this time? Uh, Europe? One of those... I want to congratulate you before we get underway on your uh, Emmy Award. Well deserved. Congratulations. Well, thank you. And you won as well. <laughs> well you've been, have you been gone since then? Not too much. No. I've been traveling. I went away. I uh, went to Europe, and we stopped in New York as a lifting off point. Big day in New York. The mayor had waved the alternate side of the street urinating ordinances. So oh, really? It was, really? Uh, <laughs> Can New York people get a little more aggressive, huh? I'm beginning to think this is where obnoxious people move so that they're considered to be animated. You know, these people are always... From there, we went to, uh... What, you bust them in from Gotham? Uh, from there, I know we went I did to, my uh, black guy and my gay guy. Yeah, I knew the... We went to Venice. Venice, Italy. Italian men have their own subtle way about them. Yes. An Italian man will stare at your wife's ass like Yuri Geller used to stare at a spoon. I mean, these guys, they don't even want to observe it. They want to manipulate it telekinetically. They want to draw it towards them for purposes of ownership and possession. Uh, and I went to Paris and uh, stand in a tough neighborhood in Paris on a little street called Rue the Day. And I should tell you while I... Uh, well, I enjoy the French people. I should let you know that they hate our guts. I yeah. cannot, I yes. cannot believe they actually gave us the Statue of Liberty. They must have been throwing it out anyway, because these people, <laughs> they detest us. They look at us, and we are one big collective Jethro bearing down on them. <laughs> Rope, belt, and all. And you know something? In all fairness to us, we might be hicks, but at least we're hicks who tend to our armpits more frequently than once every time. Van Damme's not doing that leg split thing back here. <laughs> <laughs> More frequently than once every time the Comet Cahotec is in the system. Right. I mean, these people avoid showers like a blonde at the Bates Motel. You know, they, uh... <laughs> they had to invent perfume. It wasn't an augmentation, it was a defense mechanism. Trust me. When... Super Channel now, which is fabulous. When Louis the Fourteenth guillotined, you was doing a big favor, separating your brain stem from your olfactory senses. All right. Yeah. Claude, paint the water lilies a little later, right? Now I need you to pick up that loofah and storm the pit Bastille. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Pepe Le Pew. You know, I had a, I had a cab driver in Paris. Smelled like a man eating gorgonzola cheese while getting a permanent inside the septic tank of a slaughterhouse. All right. <laughs> I said, <laughs> I said, hey, pal, there's an extra five in it for you if you run over a f***ing skunk, all right? <laughs> it's Sweep Sweep! <laughs> Welcome to Sweep Sweep!
drink, ladies and gentlemen. You know, I went right from Paris to Las Vegas, which I think is the cultural equivalent of a groin pool. I was, uh... <laughs> We both work at the MGM. Great MGM place. Grand, um, wonderful. Love the yeah. MGM Grand. I'll be following you on the 17th. Isn't your show there next yeah, week? Yeah, we'll be there all next week. Yeah. yeah, I had a humidifier in my room. It had two settings off and hound of the Baskervilles. You know, I, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I'm always amazed at what items in your room the maids assume you might not want them to throw out. Well, maybe he wants that fossilized cantaloupe rind with a cigarette butt ground out into it. <laughs> maybe that's a keeper. Unless it's something truly essential. Estella, have you seen my dialysis machine? <laughs> <laughs> and then I come back to L.A., and this place has just gone to hell. I mean, yeah. the killer bees are at the California border, afraid to come in. They, uh... <laughs> Jeez. Uh, L.A., the only city in the world where people list CAT scans as film credits on their resume. You know, this... <laughs> this town... Anybody remember when this town was magical? You remember when you'd see those Klieg lights in the night sky? You'd follow them to the end. You'd see yeah. Gable and Lombard there. Now you track them down. It's an assistant manager's day sale. It's Zodi's or something, you know. The... <laughs> is there a city worse equipped than L.A. for the earthquake? Can you imagine how crazy this is going to get after the earthquake? How wussy this city is? I mean, there'll be reports of cannibalism within 45 minutes, you know. There's going to be <laughs> guys sitting up on sunset with a human arm in their mouth. What, too soon? Too soon? <laughs> <laughs> when we come back, we'll talk about politics, talk about presidential campaign. Beautiful, Jay. More with Dennis right after this. Dennis Miller, be right back. A lot has happened. How about the presidential race now? Starting to heat up. Anything there? Well, Any yeah, I, did I just see Pat Buchanan on the cover of News? Time. Time? What yeah. has happened to this country? I mean, <laughs> Buchanan is so homophobic, he blames global warming on the AIDS quilt. All right? This is not, <laughs> this is not a guy who should be running for the presidency of this country. But, of course, anything's possible. Marion Barry is the mayor. It, that, there is ring three on the freakazoid circus right there, Matt. Huh? I mean, can you believe that? Evidently, he suffered some third-degree burns at the swearing-in process when he put his hand on the Bible. Uh, <laughs> what the hell is that about? Uh, well, how, about how about Clinton? Any feelings on that? Well, you know, Clinton is a victim of his own disingenuous nature. I mean, mm -hmm. we're... I don't know what that means. Well, I think it's obvious that uh, Clinton suffers in our eyes, because we realize he's bright enough to be better than he is. Say what you will about Ronald Reagan. Say what you will about when he was president and he had that glazed over presidents of the Caribbean thing. But you know something, <laughs> when Reagan's head hit the pillow at night, you knew he believed his own <laughs> You know something, Clinton doesn't even know what that day's is till Stephanopoulos tucks him in with a three by five card. You know, and that, that is caught up to him. And you know, I just think we know he's a bit of a phony. Clinton is the sort of guy who always volunteer to help you move. Then when you got four of you picking up the sofa, he's the one who'll fake lifting. Bill Clinton. <laughs> Bill Clinton is the sort of guy who'll give you one tic tac. You got to remember that, Jay. One tic -tac. <laughs> you know, I'm you know who loves Clinton's promises. Bush. You know, Bush is sitting down in Houston in a condo in his undies with a big bong watching C SPAN. You know? <laughs> Get in there, baby. Put that purple teddy on. Bring me a Corona. <laughs> You know, I'm always afraid to ask, Dennis, but do you have any feelings about the O.J. jury? Or the verdict, or the decision? Any, uh... how, no, you know, how stunning is that? I mean, it's just so <laughs> stunning to me. O.J. swore he was going to spend the rest of his life looking for Nicole's killer, and evidently he thinks a caddy did it. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's so... I mean, what... Huh? I mean, come on. There was a blood trail that Jennifer Tilly could have followed. <laughs> What? This country's so screwed up, the entire American Jennifer system of jurisprudence is based on the premise of trial by jury. The only way you can get on a jury is if you prove, you know, absolutely nothing about the case you're about to try. Consequently, you have 12, you know, people's lives being determined by 12 people in a room whose main goal in life is to get out, 
wrap it up and get home in time to watch Alice reruns on the Superstation because they think Polly Holiday's a real coot, you know, I mean. And Johnny Cochran's smart enough to play to that crowd. He realizes all you have to do to spring somebody nowadays is make up little rhymes, you know? That's all it comes down to is these little rhymes because he realizes the people who are on jury duty are the same people who moan when Woolery announced the date selections being moved to the next day's love connection. You know, he, he, he's, he knows that. It's been a rough week for O.J., though, Paula Barbieri, evidently yeah. split on him. Yeah. Shame. She was a spiritual woman, as he constantly <laughs> reminded us. And I know that because I saw the biblical passage, John 3.16, tattooed on her ass in Playboy. And, uh, <laughs> you know, what, uh, what sort of woman is going to date O.J.? What, what, what hell is he in, man, huh? He's going to end up marrying Rosa Lopez. You watch. You're, uh, you're really or, or maybe... <laughs> Maybe he and Al Cowings can get together. Yeah. Al can change the nickname to ACDC. Maybe you know. Uh, <laughs> well, Dennis, don't hold back next time you're here, will you please? Let us know how you feel. All Dennis right, Miller at the Thank MGM Grand next week. show. She's a talented and very funny actress. She can be seen Wednesday night starring in The Naked Truth uh, on, uh, what's that, ABC? Yeah, please welcome Taya Leone. Well, that was very nice. So we went to do it like a showbiz kiss and instead of... <laughs> you said, well, that was very nice. I almost but... knocked you out. No, no, thank you, thank you. Now, are, are you a little nervous? You seem I'm a little... terrified. No, why? Um, because I don't want to uh, get sick. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean get... No, look at you, you are shaking, right? No, yeah. No. Um, no, do, you, do, you, do you really get sick when you... Yeah. But... No, I mean, I have a, a tendency before I do the show in front of an audience about half this size, um, to throw up. You throw up. <laughs> Come on. Now, see, you shouldn't be nervous. This is a very relaxing. I mean, do you really throw up? Uh, do you throw up every day on your show? No, no, I no. It's uh, it's only the uh, the audience that makes me. Uh, throw up. Are they, that, they unattractive, these people? No, no, I don't mean it like that. It's just <laughs> I imagine uh, tomatoes or something, you know, have these odd fantasies. I mean, but, but I'm very prepared for yeah. it. I have uh, um, those airline sickness bags. You know, I saw one in your room. I went into your dressing room to say hello, and I saw an airline sickness bag, and I went, oh, the idiots didn't clean the room or something. That's yours? You no, that, I, I'm here. You have one with you? Yeah, just because... You never know. <laughs> so I, I, um... That's so funny, I have a bad chicken lunch with me. <laughs> so, do you, I mean, do you, like on your show, do you carry these around? No, um, they, they keep them, um, <laughs> behind the sets. They keep them behind the sets. So that, and then they're hanging on little hooks, several of them behind each set, and then I, if I have hurl. to yeah. hurl thank hurl. you <laughs> um then I, I hurl and then there's a bucket with a liner so i can sort of tidy oh. up after myself oh that's nice well that's well yeah. i mean what do you do like on auditions like you go off on, do, do you no, get see, nervous? it doesn't bother me i oh, mean oh. i'm fine one on one and and i'm i mean you could stick a camera up my nose it w would hurt but i <laughs> it, it wouldn't make me nervous or anything i mean have you always been this way i mean did you want to be an actress as a kid and, and but no you're... i um I, my childhood dream, I wanted to be a toll booth collector. <laughs> well, I, this is, oh boy, that's big. Um, I, I had this, we, my family and I did time in New Jersey, and we would <laughs> do time in New Jersey. There we it go. must have been a horrible crime you committed, <laughs> apparently. No. So we yeah. would go into New York, you know, to catch a show or something, and, and I remember thinking, wow, what a job. You sit in these little booths at the George Washington Bridge and people just hand you money. <laughs> and um, 
It, it wasn't until a few years ago that I, you know, figured there were probably road costs or bridge maintenance, oh, you know, and, and that you didn't get to keep it all. Oh. <laughs> hey, I want to tell you, those women at the end of the bridge, who they hand money to? They're not toll takers. <laughs> So what was your first audition when you came out here? What was the first show that you... Oh, the first thing that I did was for uh, the remake of Charlie's Angels. Oh, <laughs> now, what was, the, what, what was that? That's not so... Okay, so, well, I, I was flown out, and I'd never so much as read I, anything, a script or whatever, and so I had to do this scene where I was talking about the death of my father. You know, he was shot or something. And, and I got all worked up. I figured, well, I should use my imagination. I'm very close with my father. So I was thinking, and then I started crying. And, and I said, you know, it was really hard. You know, I was like 12. And, and then there was this word, beat. In the script? Yeah, and I thought it was, you know, some hip LA term for, you know, like, oh, bummer. You know, oh, beat. <laughs> So I said, you know, it was really sad. My dad died. <sighs> Beat. <laughs> and and then and they think, and they started laughing. And I was thinking, wow, you people are really sick. <laughs> and then the uh, Barbara Remsen, who's this casting woman who sort of discovered me, <laughs> pulled me outside and she said, Oh, Taya, um, Beat is is the stage direction for you to take a pause. Take you a know. And I, I was so embarrassed, and I, and I went back, I mean, really intelligent, right? And so I went back in there, and there were, you know, all these executives, and I said, oh, you know, you guys are really nice. And Aaron Spelling said, oh, we'll just wait till Aaron Spelling gets here. And I said, oh, why? Is, uh, is he a real a uh, jerk? <laughs> you can't go there, there on national television. I, well, Dennis I, had no problem. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Anyway, and, uh, and, and it was Aaron Spelling. And it was Aaron Spelling. And God only knows why, but I was in fact cast oh, that's in that role. Well, and that's are. where this all started. Well, that's started. wonderful. See, that's a wonderful story. Beat. Well, that is embarrassing. Mm, that is, that is embarrassing. embarrassing. Well, you do a great job on the show. The show has gotten Thank terrific you. reviews. You got a nice write up in uh, TV Guide as well. Yeah, Congratulations. Nice. The Thanks show is called much. The Naked Truth on ABC. Thanks, Thanks. See, that was easy. Be right back right after this.